This is what matters. The hard days. The days you have to grasp. It is half marathon time trial day. I haven't done a hard effort like this in so long. I haven't raced, there's been no time trials, but today I'm going all in and I'm gonna give it everything. Normally I would race a half marathon in the lead up to a key goal marathon, but there are none. So I'm gonna lay it on the line in a time trial format and see what I can do. My half marathon PB is 68.48 from back in 2019 in Copenhagen half. Um, today, I feel like I'm in a lot better shape, but it's very difficult doing this on your own. So I'm gonna go out at about that pace, which is uh, about 5.15 per mile, which is, I think, 3.15 a K maybe. Um, you'll see the splits on your screen now. And yeah, hopefully try and press on the second half if I'm feeling good. Anything sub 69 would be incredible today. Uh, I would take a sub 70, 70 plus, I'll be pretty disappointed, I'm not going to lie. But uh, I'll give it everything, Kelly's going to be on the bike filming, it's a little bit breezy, but we're getting this done before the storm arrives later tonight. Um, I did plan to do this time trial on Thursday, but there's going to be 40 mile per hour winds and that would just knock my confidence and it would be an awful run and it wouldn't tell me much. One of the key things about doing a half marathon all out in your build up um, is to see what sort of shape you're in. And this would be a great indicator for me and uh, will help me decide what pace I'm going to go out in in the marathon. Uh, right now, the goal is 5.30 a mile, but I need to prove that I can um, do the equivalent for a half marathon, which would be about 69 minutes. So let's go out. Let's do this. I'm going to warm up first and uh, then uh, strip down and go all in. Marathon time trial, here we go! Come on! Little Keen in the first 800, 450 a mile, what the hell am I doing? 515's the plan. Could that be an error not setting up your mile split? Probably. I tried to set it up at 5k to break it down to 4, 5k, 1k all in. But it doesn't help lap pace because it's averaging over the whole 5k. Is it done there, Yeah. That could have been a fun error. <laughs> you were off. <laughs> Where are you going? Ran into Swansea. <laughs> but there's the headwind. Here we go. <laughs> Five sixteen. Me. I'm good. Don't even know that. That's five ten average. <sighs> Legs feel decent. Breathing's catching up. Three 
Looking good. Not as cocky anymore, am I? No. Go 513, you good? So I've got the nail splits, you should have the 5k split coming up shortly. Predictions? 16... Oh, three. 1604. <laughs> so close. Good though. That's the first one bagged. Bit tasty. First one bagged. Opportunity, Matt. Well done, you've got this. You're looking really good. Looking really solid. Well done. Six doesn't matter. You've got loads to go. Oh, great. <laughs> All you gotta do is tick it off one by one. Get to six, get to seven, get to eight. Really break it down. And Natasha's really doing it for me. Uh, <laughs> I thought the tower would make it easier. Five, twelve. That's six then. Prediction? I'm gonna say 32, 30. What's your 5k prediction for the second five? I reckon you dropped a bit, so I'm going to say 16.10, maybe 16.12. Your mouth is bad then. 12 plus 4 is 16. <laughs> Listen, I pretty much got the first one bang on. I think that was good because it's when you were inconsistent. What is it, Freddie? 16.11. 16.11. 32.15. Okay, so I didn't get the 10k close, but I got the 5k. Okay, close, all right? Relax. Make the most of this bit now. It's going to get harder as soon as you go around that corner. That's what you want to hear? When you're at your limit? Yeah, but you've done two of them. You've got two more left. You're halfway through the hard bits. Just tick it all off. One more hard bit, one more mile. Tick, tick, tick. And the sun's shining. Yeah. I don't think he actually cares that the sun is shining right now, but I'm trying, I'm trying to motivate him. He is working really, really hard. Um, it's a lot windier than we expected as well, but you know, it's a nice day for it. Um, and it's quiet and it's not around the lake where we get all of the um, issues. So he's got to make the most of it or try to. And so far he is. I think it's going to be almost five laps. Don't worry about that. Just concentrate on the lap that you're doing at the moment. That's way easier for a head. Do you want something to take your mind off it? Yeah. Name me three things that are green around you. I'm not playing games. <laughs> Just each mile. You're almost at mile seven now. You're doing amazing. There you go, 512, that's amazing. Well done, Matt. That's amazing running, you just pulled it back there, come on. That's another mile done. Now we're in the next mile, just this mile. You're doing really well. This is what matters. The hard days. The days you have to graft. <coughs> you hanging in there? 5 
Brilliant. Well done, babe. That's another mile done. Nine miles done. See what you can do when you find it hard. You fight it. You get it done, you put, you push your foot down, you get it done. You're fighting back. You're looking so good, you're looking so strong. That's three 5Ks, 16, 12. Hurting. 48 something. 48, 24 or something. Okay. It's 10 miles done, come on. You've got this, wrap it up now. I'm ready. 10 done. Last mile, 5, 16. That's it, come on. Graft, graft, graft. Keep going. You're so close to turning that corner now. Bit of a break from the wind. You're not done until your legs tell you you're done. That's it, come on. Hang in there, babe, come on. There we go. There we go. Start telling yourself you're going to do this, Matt. No, 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 no matter what, you're going to do this. You are not going to come this far to only come this far. Bruins, come on! You look so good, you look so strong. Back it up with your head. Mile 11, 519. It's alright, you had the hard bit. Now you're gonna make it back. All you gotta do, babe, is stick with it. Give me a smile. Don't worry about anything else. Half a mile down. You're halfway there to mile 12. Come on. Look how beautiful this day is. Opportunity, Matt. Take it. Come on, you got it. You look so good. Amazing stuff. That's it. Come on, Matt. Less than a mile left. Anybody can do that. Make this really solid. Tie it up and put a fancy little bow on it. This is your finishing touch. Come on, make it a good one. That's it, work. You're looking so good, come on. This is a hard bit out of the wind, but you got it. That's it, come on, babe. You're coming up. That's 13, 512. 
15 miles done. Marathon. What is a half marathon? Oh my life! Oh. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my! Oh, where's the light? Too much light. So I went over distance just to make sure, and I'm under 68:30. Oh, that's huge. Oh, that's incredible. I can't believe that. I actually can't believe it. Oh, that was tough. Really, really tough. The wind, oh. That's why I need a race to sit in a pack and be greedy and shelter. Oh, couldn't have done that without Kelly. Absolutely couldn't have done that without Kelly. Just walking back to the car. I still can't believe that. Um. I'm so shocked because I thought I was in that sort of shape, but only if I was in a race and tapered and not after a savage long run and 17 Ks last week and nearly a hundred miles last week. So to do that, I just don't know. I just, I'm lost for words. Uh, how did it feel? I went off too quick. Soon, uh, soon lost my cockiness when I turned around into the wind and it got very hard very quick, a lot harder than I was hoping for so soon. I think the wind just was sucking the life out of me. But Kelly's motivation and Kelly's motivation and encouraging words was huge and dragged me through. And uh, the way she was breaking it down, like, right, you've got one more tough bit to do. And then, then just focus on this one tough bit now and then, then you'll be back with a tailwind. And it really helped because as you see the splits start to fade into the wind, it can be really discouraging. But when the average pace started to drop again, oh, it just helps your mindset. Oh, wow, time trials, eh? So I've just uploaded a Strava, 68.18 on Strava. So I went a little bit further in case GPS was out. So it's between 68.18 and 68.30. Massive PB, really, really happy. Um, struggling a little bit on the cool down. Uh, really did, uh, I worked hard then. And it's a massive confidence boost. And it means I'm definitely, definitely going out at 5.30 or quicker in the Wrexham Elite Marathon. I'm going for it, I'm going all in. I'm going for that sub 225. This has proven I'm in the shape. The long runs are going well. Come on! Oh God, I can't move. <laughs> I think I should wrap it up now. So thank you for Kelly for filming and the support. Thanks you guys for watching. My mum, my dad. Um, but what I actually want to say is like, share, subscribe, tag me, all that. If you like this content, you definitely have to subscribe. But I'm not doing any more time trials until after the marathon. So if you do like this content, sorry, because there's no, no more coming. But we have got seven weeks left of this training block. If you want to see what sort of shape I can get into, the marathon sessions I'm doing, and uh, I'll even tell you how to adapt them for your goals, then uh, make sure you do subscribe. All right, my arm's hurting, my legs are hurting. Uh, uh, I, uh, what do I say? I've never got a sign off. My new sign off actually. My arms hurting, my legs are hurting. I'm off for a coffee. <laughs>